Hi, boys and girls. Thanks for joining me here at the Fayette County Public Library. We are at the Crafty Corner today, and we are going to make a really cute clothespin dragonfly. This is a very simple craft. You just need a clothespin and some craft sticks and wiggly eyes, and make sure that you have Sharpies or permanent markers. Okay, Marks a Lot works as well, but you want to have a Sharpie. In other words, the ink um, will come right off on your fingers. All right, so in your packet, you have enough to make two dragonflies. So today, I'm just going to show you how to make one. So we need one clothespin, and we need two craft sticks, and we'll need one set of eyes. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is to take your clothespin and color it. Um, I had made a purple and pink dragonfly, but today I think I'm just going to make a solid pretty green one. So you're going to take your marker and color the top. Then you're going to want to lay it on its side. Go ahead and color the side of your clothespin. Now you may get it on you, but that's okay. You can wash it when wash it off when you're done. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and flip it to the other side and color it in as well. Now, dragonflies sort of shimmer in the light. So, boys and girls, if you want to add some glitter, that would be neat. Or if you just want to add some polka dots of another color, anything like that would be fun to add. Okay, and so I'm just going to make a green dragonfly today. I'm going to go ahead and go over parts that maybe weren't colored in all the way. Okay, let me flip this over here and get this side a little bit better. Now, as, as it go, gets into spring, you will be able to see dragonflies outside around ponds and maybe down by the river. Okay, so once the body is done, you want to set that off so that it sort of dries just a little bit. And now you have two wings. Now these wings are going to crisscross each other, but it really doesn't matter. I'm going to go ahead and make a pink wing. So I'm just going to color. And all you need to do is color the top. Okay. And if you can go in one direction, it makes it look nicer. Okay, if you use big, bold strokes, you don't get to see all those little strokes in there, and it's going to cover it better. And I think I am going to use um, orange or yellow. Let's go with the orange. All right, so this is a fanciful dragonfly because there aren't really dragonflies that have pink and orange wings, but that's okay. I'm going to make him pretty. All right. Now, since I've used pink and orange, I can use a darker color, like maybe the teal or the purple, to add some stripes, maybe. Or I might add some polka dots on this one. So whatever you can do to add some little creativity. If you have glitter, that might really look cute too. Okay, so now once that's done, we're almost done with the whole dragonfly. I would suggest that you use your eyes next. Um, you definitely need white glue, the, um, not the glue stick. You're going to put some glue on the end of your clothespin, the part where the mouth is. Okay, and you're going to take your eyes and got itty bitty little eyes. Looks like I may have put a little bit too much glue, but that will dry and you won't see it later. All right, let me see if I can get this guy in there. All right, so I'm going to put those right on the very end of your clothespin. Now, what I was thinking that would be really cool is if you would get some magnetic tape, you could put some um, magnet strips right here, and then you could hang them on your refrigerator and use this part as a little note holder. That would look really cute. All right, but I don't have magnetic tape, so... Let's see, should I put the pink and then the orange or the orange and then the pink? I think I like the pink down. So you are going to want to use sort of a big glob of glue here. Well, it helps if I open it. I had to shut it. Okay, so you want to have enough glue right here above the little silver clasp. Put it at a diagonal and then put glue on top of that craft stick and make an X. Okay. Now, here's the really hard part, boys and girls. You need to leave it. Don't touch it for about an hour, okay? Let that glue dry. And when the glue is dried, you can pick him up and buzz him around, 
or if you can um, put some magnet on the back, you can glue them to or stick them on your refrigerator. I bet you can think of creative ways to, to um, play with your little dragonfly. All right, boys and girls, this has been the Crafty Corner. I'm Miss Lisa here at the Fayette County Public Library. Come back and see me again next week for another craft here at the Crafty Corner. Oh, oh, oh.